<clears throat> okay, it's Saturday morning. Um, it's about quarter to eight. Um, we're going to try and leave here very soon, um, just so we can hand back the car and get that all sorted. Um, in a bit of a rush. Okay, so we arrived at the airport. Um, well, it's pretty bad. It's clearing up. It wasn't thunder and lightning, um, but it is, it is kind of slowly clearing up now. Um, so a good two and a bit hours to go before we need to actually get on the plane. Um, so yeah, I'm just down and do a bit of editing. So we're half an hour from the um, flight actually possibly well, boarding um, and it's the second time I've heard it but um, I know that flights and airlines overbook. Every, every plane normally gets overbooked just because um, most or a lot of people don't turn up um, to their, their flight. So there was one American Airlines flight um, that was overbooked and they, they tried to offer $800 for a ticket. Yeah. So they started at $300, they've now gone to $400 and now it's $500. Um, so, but, but no one wants to turn a two hour flight into an eight hour flight, so why, why, would, you, why would you want to do that? Um, but it just, I mean, it just pisses a lot of people off, that's the problem. It, 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 it annoys customer service because they have to now auction off seats and, and take grief from customers. It makes customers, customers awkward because they don't want to have to transfer, but if the flight's overbooked and the flight's overbooked and someone isn't getting on. Um, so, yeah, we just, I think we'll just see how it goes. Don't poke the bear. <laughs>